Hello and welcome to episode 11 in my scripting series. Today we're going to be looking at if statements. So if statements, they allow you to run code depending on whether something has happened or if something or a condition or something that we tell the script is true or not. So for example, um, if the time of day is night time, then we can turn a light on or um, if 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, which it is, then we can do something. So, firstly, when we're doing an if statement, we have to say if, and that basically tells the script that this is an if statement and we're checking something. So an if statement is made up of um, an if, a then, and an end. So we have if, and then we have something that goes in between if and then, and if whatever we put here is correct, if it's true, if you know, if, if it's if it's right, then it's going to run whatever code goes in between these two lines. So if I was to print out correct, and I was to put something in here, obviously it has to be. Well, this is a condition. It has to be something that we can check. So for example, we could check to see if a number add another number was equal to 4. So if 2 add 2 is equal to 4 then it's going to print correct. Now let's run this script and see what happens. Well there we go, prints correct. So what's what it's done is it's basically said right is 2 add 2 equal to 4? Well 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so this condition is true and whenever the condition is true then it's always going to print correct. Now, um, if I put false, then it's not going to say correct because the condition that we've put in here is false. Now, I know we've written false, but basically when an if statement sees a condition which is false, then it won't run the code inside of it. When it sees true, then it will run the code inside of it. But what we did, we didn't say whether 2 plus 2 was 4 or not we didn't say that was true so what happens is when you put a condition in here like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 it's going to work it out and then if it is correct then it's either going to be true or it's going to be false when it's false it doesn't run anything inside of the if statement when it's true it does so our conditions can either be true or they can be false and depending on whether they are uh, is whether the code will run or not so these conditions you can think about them as like um, the script checks them and they're either true or false and if they're false it won't run if it's true it will run the code inside of the if statement so well, what, what, what do we want to check? Well, you can check properties of things. So we could check to see if the time of day was night time. So let's look in the lighting. The lighting has a, a property called time of day. And if we were to say if game dot lighting dot time of day, and uh, because it's a string, a time of day, the data type is a string, then, uh, oh by the way, we, when, when we're checking something and we want to say if something is equal to something, we always have to do a double equals. And this is because when we're setting a value, if we were to set the time of day, we would say equals and then we'd put the time of day in there. So we're, we're setting time of day to be 12 o'clock. But... If we were to have one equals, the script would think that we're setting the value to uh, 12 o'clock, but we we'll actually just want to check it. We want to see if it's equal to something. We want to see if it's equal to 12 o'clock. So because it thinks we want to set it to 12 o'clock, we have to do a double equals. So whenever you're doing an if statement, just make sure that you have two equals signs when you're checking something. That's just the way it is, because it's not going to work if you just have one. So make sure you have two in there. So we're going to do a string. We're going to do 12 o'clock, because it's not a number. Uh, time of day. Time of day is a string because it's got these uh, colons in the middle. If it didn't have the colons then it wouldn't be but that's just the way it's formatted so it's a string. So we can say if time of day is 12 o'clock then uh, make it correct. It will then print out correct. So if we uh, clear the output and uh, run the game it's currently set to uh, 14 or 2 o'clock um, so it's not going to print correct. But uh, if we were to change the time of day to uh, 12 o'clock and run it again 
you can see it prints correct. Now, th this if statement is only going to run once. It's only going to run once the game starts, and then if you change the lighting later on, it won't uh, it won't update. So if we start it off and we set and the time is currently at uh, three o'clock, and we change it to twelve o'clock. Um, you can see it doesn't print out correct. That's because the if statement has uh, already run. It's, it's it's run once and it's 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 not printed correct because the time of day wasn't twelve o'clock when we started the game. It was fifteen or three o'clock. Um, so it only runs once and then once it's already run, it will just move on. It won't it won't keep checking like an event keeps running won't do that it will only keep it will only keep checking if you put it in a while loop and i'm not sure if we've, if we've done a while loop yet but a while loop will just keep repeating any code inside of it like this if we, if we were to do this every one second in our while loop uh, it would constantly check and now if we change the time of day to 12 o'clock every one second it will keep checking and there we go the, it is correct because the time is now 12 o'clock but if we change it back to 15 or 14 or 00, zero you can see it's it's uh, it does say correct still but you can see it's not increasing over here where it goes time 7 it's that's because if we went to clear the output you see it still wouldn't print the message so um that is what an if statement is really you say if you put a condition in there if the condition is right then it will run the code inside of it if it's not right it won't so let's get rid of this if state this while loop here now, I'm going to show you another thing here. I'm going to show you else. Now, if you say else, if this condition is false, then it will immediately uh, run the whatever's in between the else and the end. So if you were to print incorrect, what would happen is it would say, well, is the, is, is the time of day 12 o'clock? Well, no, it's not. It's 3 o'clock. So it's not going to print correct. It's going to go else because... If, if the time of day isn't 12 o'clock, if our condition's false, this is our backup. This is what's going to run if it's, if, it's, if it's false. So, what will happen when condition is false? So, when the condition's false, it will print incorrect. And I'll just show you that. It prints incorrect because the time of day is 15. If we were to go back, change it to 12, which it is defined as in the script, Boom, it prints correct. So you can see, if the condition is false, then it will do the else. It will print whatever's in between the else and the end. If it's true, it will print whatever is between the if and the else over here. So it will print the correct if it's true. It will print the incorrect if it is false. So you can apply an if statement to anything in your game. You could say, uh, if the time of day is zero zero which is night time then we could set this light to be enabled so we could say game dot workspace dot light dot point light dot enabled equals true else game dot workspace dot light dot point light dot enabled equals false okay so if the time of day is midnight then it will turn this light on else it will not so currently it is not zero zero oh we have an error my bad. Oh, spelt workspace wrong. Give me a second. There we go. Um, so if it is midnight, it will turn on. Obviously, it isn't midnight right now. It's 12 o'clock. So let's go out. Let's change it to midnight. There we go. And let's run the code. And boom, the light turns on. Now, if we were to put this in a while loop, so it constantly checks even after it's run the first time. Let's do a while wait in there. So it just updates every... Uh, 0.3 seconds and again you don't need to know about while loops yet because we'll go over them in a future video if I change it to 15 it turns off if I change it to 12 still doesn't work if I change it to 11 59 59 it still doesn't work if I change it to 0 boom it turns on if I turn it to 0, 0, 0 001 turns off so you can see that an if statement um, the condition is if it's equal to midnight. So if it's one minute past midnight, won't work. So an if statement, your condition, determines whether something happens or not. So you can see if the condition is true, if it is midnight, the light will turn on. Else, if it isn't, it will turn off. So you can see 
what if statements are. They allow you to enter a condition. If the condition is true, then it will run one set of code. If not, you can get it to run a different set of code. So very brief introduction into if statements there. We will be going more in depth on them later on, but you just need to know how they work. You can also do things such as if a uh, variable is greater than a number. So let's say my var is equal to 20. My var is 20, so it's greater than 10, so the light should turn on. There we go. But if I was to set my var to 2, which is less than 10, it wouldn't work. So you can have loads of different conditions. You could have my var set to hello, and then you could say if my var is equal to hello, then it will run the uh, it will run the turning on of the light because it's true but if you said if it's by well we've set it to say hello it won't run so lots of different use cases for if statements you may be thinking well a bit pointless at the minute because I've got nothing to check but when you make a game there are loads of things that you need to check you'll need to check how many players are left in your game because you might want to end the round if there's only one person remaining loads of uses and it's a thing that you really need to know so very brief introduction into if statements we'll be doing more of them in future videos so make sure you check out the next video it will be on the right side of your screen if you want to subscribe to the channel please do click the alvin blocks logo in the middle of your screen to subscribe and don't forget to use star code alvin blocks when buying premium or robux to support the channel at no extra cost thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one